Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And this is my first initial comparison between the Nike Zoom Freak 2 and the Nike Zoom Freak 3. So both of these shoes are the exact same price actually. Uh, this colorway was 130 bucks I believe, but the overall like general release colorways was 120 bucks for the Zoom Freak 2. And the Zoom Freak 3 is also going for 120 bucks. So if you guys wanna cop either of these shoes, I'll try to leave a link in the description box. The Zoom Freak 2 is actually on sale though. There are a lot of colorways that are going for like 80 or 90 bucks. But anyways, let's get it started off with the Tractione. So the Zoom Freak 2 had very good traction, picked up a little bit of dust. It was pretty damn durable as well. I did play outdoors in this shoe too. Uh, so I, the Zoom Freak 2, uh, the traction, the outsole was very, very good. The Zoom Freak 3, I feel like right now is a little bit of a downgrade, right? So just trying it on my wood floors, the bite didn't really seem as good as the Zoom Freak 2. I mean, it didn't seem top tier or actually like that good. You know, so I am a little bit worried about that. And there's really no squeak to it. That kind of sucks. And the durability seems like it's going to be very, very bad. Of course, this is just first impressions. And all of that can change, you know, when I break in the shoe and all that. But just for right now, that's just what I'm speculating for the Zoom Freak 3. I mean, if you look at the grooves, they're just so thin that it's just there's no way the durability is that good you know so yeah the zoom freak 2 right now is looking a lot better as far as the overall design of this like kind of decoupling that the zoom freak 2 and zoom freak 3 have it actually does look pretty similar but the zoom freak 3 is a lot crazy <laughs> you know what i mean and also the outsole dips in to the midsole and kind of comes up it doesn't even touch the ground here in the middle of the shoe but anyways uh there's a traction there as far as the heel to toe transition the zoom freak 2 was very very smooth exposed midsoles for both of the shoes you know so nothing's really caged and we have a nice rounded shape here in the heel for both of the shoes and then here in the forefoot nice curved shape and uh let's see the zoom freak 2 pretty good forefoot flex and same thing with the zoom freak 3 all right moving on to the cushioning setup so the zoom freak line has always had pretty bad cushion and i wish they would use a different type of cushion right because they've been using just phylon please use like renew or like lunar lawn or even react that would be awesome <laughs> or cush lawn you know what i mean but anyways so uh here in the zoom freak 2 the heel cushion is eh you know it's it's not that nice uh, there is a four foot zoom unit. You can feel it a little bit. It's not super bouncy or anything, but uh, it's, I guess it's kind of nice, right? Here in the Zoom Freak 3, it's a pretty similar setup as far as the foam goes. There is a little bit of compression and that's about it. We have a two independent zoom pods here in the four foot. They are bottom loaded. So you can't really feel anything right now. You know, so I would say the Zoom Freak 2 actually feels a little bit nicer as far as my first impressions go. Hopefully when I break in the Zoom Freak 3, uh, it gets bouncier and gets a little bit nicer, but I doubt that because it is bottom loaded and you do have that layer of foam between your foot and the actual zoom unit so i have my doubts on that but as far as the overall feel of the cushion goes it feel very very similar you know like the uh, court feel is very similar i feel like impact protection is going to be very very similar so it all depends on how the zoom freak 3 breaks in here in the forefoot for me all right, moving on to the materials. The materials are actually very nice in both of the shoes, right? So the Zoom Freak 2 has a very thin and very soft material. It's really comfortable on foot. And the quality also isn't that bad, you know, for 120 bucks. Uh, here in the Zoom Freak 3, the material I would say is actually uh, thinner. And also it's a little bit easier to move. So it conforms to your foot a little bit better, I would say, but still they're both really, really nice and feel great on foot. For the tongue, they're both very large tongues. Look at that, you know, oversized tongues. And they both have, um, I would say, the same amount of padding. So, it, you know, it feels very cozy, very comfortable on foot. And looking here in the ankle area, um, I would say the uh, amount of padding is pretty similar. So, I mean, that feels very similar as well. It's a very minimal, very thin material, very cozy here in the ankle area with the tongue. Uh, of course, the Zoom Freak 3 does have this strap, which... I don't like i don't like it aesthetically it doesn't really do anything as far as from a functionality standpoint and um yeah just adds a little bit of bulk as well on top of your foot here so not a huge fan of that uh, i would have just you know i like the zoom freak 2 with nothing on it but anyways the overall feeling of the upper feels very very similar all right moving on to the fit of the shoe i would say the zoom freak 3 fits pretty much the exact same as the zoom freak 2 so I went true to size for both of them and they both fit my foot really, really well. My toes pretty much go right to the edge of the shoe. Here in the toe box, it is quite snug, not super snug or anything, but it's snug to the point where the fit feels very secure on my foot. As far as the width goes, I would say the Zoom Freak 2 feels a little bit narrower, uh, but not by much. So as far as the overall fit goes, they're both really, really similar. 
Uh, one thing I like about the Zoom Freak 2 though is that we have this heel tab and it makes the shoe a little bit easier to put on uh, as compared to the Zoom Freak 3 where you don't have a heel tab. It actually kind of dips down here in the back of the heel. So, you know, obviously not a huge deal and doesn't really affect performance, but I do like when the shoe is easy to put on, you know? All right, as far as the support and lockdown goes, I had no issues with the Zoom Freak 2 as far as lateral containment goes or even just support. So we have these plastic pieces here in the forefoot, here in the heel, and also we have an internal TPU heel counter and the foam coming up acting as a sidewall. So the Zoom Freak 2, no issues with lateral containment. Uh, the Zoom Freak 3, I don't think I'm going to have any issues either. You know, the foam does come up a little bit here in the forefoot. Uh, here in the midfoot, you have the foam coming up a lot as well as this plastic piece. And then here in the heel, we have the foam coming up a lot as well. Kind of looks like a, a fang, I, I would say, right? And then uh, for lateral stability, the Zoom Freak 2, you have a crazy outrigger. The Zoom Freak 3, you don't really have an outrigger, but the foam does protrude out a lot. So uh, let's see how which one's wider though. Um, oh, actually the Zoom Freak 3 looks a little bit wider. Look at that. So yeah, I don't think the Zoom Freak 3 is going to have any problems with that. All right, moving on to the weight of the shoe. I feel like the Zoom Freak 2 might be a little bit lighter, right? So the Zoom Freak 2 is 11.53 ounces. And then the Zoom Freak 3 is 11.82 ounces. So it is a little bit lighter, just like 0.3 ounces. Not That's not a huge deal. That's like nothing, to be honest. And that actually kind of surprises me because you do have like this plastic here and you have the strap, but I guess that's about it, right? So <laughs> that's probably the 0.3 ounces, right? But like I said, these shoes feel very similar on foot. Like the overall feeling, the cushion, the overall material, like where the padding is and all that. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot of difference from the Zoom Freak 2 to the Zoom Freak 3. All right, moving on to the aesthetics, I definitely like the Zoom Freak 2 better. You know, I like the oversized swoosh as compared to the backwards swoosh here in the Zoom Freak 3. And also, like I keep saying, I hate the way the strap looks. It looks terrible <laughs> in my opinion. So yeah, tell us what you guys think looks better down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, uh, the Zoom Freak 3, there's a very little improvement from uh, the Zoom Freak 2, I would say, you know, uh, the cushion, maybe it might be a little bit better. We'll have to see, you know, hopefully it breaks in and gets bouncier, but like I said, I, I doubt that. Traction actually seems like it's, it's a little worse right now from a first impression standpoint. I guess the materials do feel a little bit thinner and it conforms to your foot a little bit better, but the Zoom Freak 2 is still nice. And then the tongue and all that uh, feels very similar as well. So yeah, I feel like the Zoom Freak 3 is gonna perform very similarly to the Zoom Freak 2. Uh, just gonna have to wait on the forefoot cushioning setup and also we'll have to see on how the traction is um but anyways uh that about wraps it up for my initial comparison between the zoom freak 2 and the zoom freak 3 again if you guys want to cop either of these shoes i'll leave a link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one